Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. Today in this video lecture, I am going to discuss poetry by Edgar Allan Poe titled as The Bells. This particular poetry was published in the year 1849. This poetry is a sort of an onomatopic poem which moons over loss of his wife, means speaker's wife Virginia and is divided in four parts. This particular poetry shows life from the nimbleness of youth to the pain of age and also de depicts growing emotions of despair. So here I am reading four stanza and along by reading stanza I am explaining you meaning of each particular stanza. Here the sledges with the bells, silver bells, what a world of merriment that melody foretells. In this stanza, Pooh describes the sound of sleigh bells, S-L-E-I-G-H, sleigh bells during the winter season. The bells are associated with merriment and joy and their melody foretells a world of cheerfulness. How they tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. These words tinkle, tinkle, tinkle create an onomatopic effect which mimics the sound of the bells. In the icy air of night, while the stars that oversprinkle all the heavens seems to twinkle. Pooh mentions the twinkling stars which adds to the enchanting ambience. With a crystalline delight keeping time, 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 in a sort of runic rhyme, to the tintin ablation that so musically wells, from the bells, 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 from the jingling and the tinkling of the bells. He introduces this word called tintin ablation, a word he coined to refer to the musical quality of the sleigh bells. So in first stanza he gives description of sleigh bells. Now this is second stanza. In this stanza Pooh tried to give description of wedding bells but in the previous stanza he tried to give description of sleigh bells. So here I am reading lines. Here the mellow wedding bells, golden bells, what a world of happiness their harmony Foretells. In this stanza, Pooh shifts to the description of wedding bells symbolizing love and unity. The bells emit a mellow golden sound that foreshadows happiness. Through the balmy air of night, how they ring out their delight from their molten golden notes and all in tune. Here, he tried to depict harmony of the bells which fills the night air and their delightful notes are compared to molten gold. Then, all uh, what a liquid ditty floats to the turtle dove that listens while she gloats on the moon. Oh, from out the sounding cells, what a gush of euphony voluptuously wells. The liquid-like Melody reaches even the turtle dove and seems to celebrate the moon. Pooh here highlights the euphony, euphony uh, and the voluptuous outpouring of the bell's music. Then how it swells, how it dwells on the future, how it tells of the rapture that impels to the swinging and the ringing of the bells, bells, bells. Of the bells, 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 to the rhyming and the chiming of the bells. Here he mentions in these lines a swinging and ringing of the bells. Through this, um, he highlights or emphasizing their melodic and rhythmic qualities. Now here he shifts his focus of attention by describing about alarm bells. Here the loud alarm bells. Brazen bells, what a tale of terror now their turbulency tells. In the startled ear of night, how they scream out their affright, too much horrified to speak. Thus, this stanza focuses on the sound of alarm bells, typically used in emergencies or fires. The, these type of bells emit a loud and alarming sound, telling a tale of terror and danger. They can only shriek, shriek out of tune in a clamorous appealing to the mercy of the fire in a mad expostulation with the deaf and frantic fire, leaping higher, higher, higher.
Pooh describes the bells as screaming and shrieking in fear. Their malady becomes disordered. They appeal desperately for mercy from the fire, almost as if in an argument or plea for help. The intensity of the situation rises as the fire jumps higher and higher. With a desperate desire and a resolute endeavor, now, now, to sit or never, by the sight of the pale-faced moon, oh, the bells, bells, bells. Tells, what a tale their terror tells of despair. The stanza ends with a sense of despair emphasizing the dire circumstances portrayed by the alarm bells. This is final stanza of this particular poetry. In uh, this stanza, Pooh tried to give description of funeral bells. Hear the tolling of the bells, iron bells, what a world of solemn thought their monody compels. In the silence of the night, how we shiver with affright at the melancholy penance of their tone, for every sound that floats from the rust within their throats is a groan. So in this stanza, Pooh describes the tolling of funeral bells, representing a somber and melancholic mood associated with death. The sound of the bells compels solemn thought, creating an atmosphere of reflection. The monody or single melodic line of the bells elicits shivers and a sense of fear. Every sound that emerges from the rusty throats of the iron bells resembles a groan. And the people, oh the people, they that dwell up in the steeple all alone, and who tolling, 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 in that muffled monotone, feel a glory in so rolling, on the human heart a stone, they are neither man nor woman, they are neither brute nor human, they are ghouls. Pooh highlights the people who toll the bell, stating that they seem neither human nor animal, but rather ghoulish beings. And their king, it is who tolls, and he rolls, rolls. Rolls. So their king is the one who tolls the bells, expressing a sense of authority and power in this stanza. Rolls, a pain from the bells, and his merry bosom swells with the pain of the bells, and he dances and he yells, keeping time, 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 in a sort of runic rhyme to the pain of the bells of the bells. What we find here is that king here uh, seen as dancing and yelling, keeping time to the rhythm of the bells. Keeping time, time, time in a sort of runic rhyme to the throbbing of the bells, of the bells, 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 to the sobbing of the bells, keeping time, 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 and he knells, knells, knells in a happy runic rhyme to the rolling of the bells, of the bells, 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 to the tolling of the bells, of the bells, 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 to the moaning and the grooming of the bells. The repetition of keeping time, time, time emphasizing uh, or emphasizes the synchronization between the king's actions and the sounds of the bells. Overall, this particular stanza evokes a moonful and haunting atmosphere. Then with this, this video lecture ends here. Hope this video lecture will help you in your UGC NET English Literature exams. Thank you.